Well, guys, uh, I am a liar. <laughs> so, we are not going to build a 408 Windsor or 427. And I'll tell you why. Because, one, I couldn't afford it. It's I looked into it. It's I knew it was going to be expensive as hell. And it's, like, really expensive. And I just don't have the money to do one. So, I told you I was going to try and sell this motor. Um, I did try and sell it for the last week. I had a lot, a lot of tire kickers on it. Uh, nobody, I think everyone's just broke right now. No one wanted to buy it, so if I don't sell this, and I had to sell this, and I had to sell my little 2.3 turbo over there, which that's a real niche little thing. Um, it's kind of hard to sell that stuff, you know, immediately. So we're gonna just rebuild the 358 and we're gonna go I felt like we kind of had some unfinished business there I really wanted to go 550s with this motor and not hitting it just kind of pissed me off um, so a lot of guys were messaging me saying man you're just right there you're just you're right there just figure out the little issue why it's down on power and uh, try again they really wanted to see me succeed at it so, as cool as a 427 will be, and someday it will get a 427, but I feel like we just, we gotta hit goals with this little motor. I mean, it never broke, so why not try again, you know? So, uh, that's what we're gonna do. Alright guys, I got the motor tore, not fully down, but uh, mostly down. So you guys can tell what this thing really is and isn't, because you've never seen what's inside of here. Um... We'll probably pull a main cap off and a rod bearing cap off just to make sure the bearings look good, but I know that they do. Pistons look, I mean, look how good the E98 burns super clean. These things aren't even dirty at all. Heads are down there. Uh, so, the plan. The plan is to revamp this little motor and just try to find as much horsepower as we can without going crazy stupid money into it it's kind of like we're walking that fine line because it's we want to go fast but we don't want to dump too much money into a shit motor you know so we're gonna go like i said we're gonna buy the best stuff we can without going insane because ultimately the goal is to build a different engine so what this thing had in it was an f303 camshaft it had a just a regular cast timing gear set and the chain was so slacky on both sides. I mean, that cam was probably rotating, I'd say anywhere between four and five degrees one way or the other. I mean, it was bad. And when we put this motor together, we just dot to dotted it, just eyeballed it on top dead center, you know? And so when we're trying to squeeze every ounce of horsepower out, that ain't gonna work. So the plan is to change the cam to a lot more modern of a cam grind. I didn't go custom grind cam, which, you know, ultimately would have been the best, but that's like 500 bucks. So what I found is I found a Lunati twin turbo boost cam. It had a really high lift. The F cam is only 512 uh, degrees of lift, and uh, the Lunati was 565, so we're jumping quite a bit. Um, not to mention the ramps and everything. The lobe separation is different on the Lunati. So hopefully it's going to be a pretty rowdy camshaft. It was about the rowdiest camshaft I could find. And I did a fair amount of looking for a hydraulic roller. Now I was going to go solid roller, but we've ran into issues with these particular heads. Uh, the valve train is just not set up for a hydraulic roller. And to swap all that out, you're talking a fair amount of money, which like I said, not really worth dumping into them. So we're going to stay hydraulic roller, try to keep it under. These springs are rated for 600 lift. Obviously, 565 is under 600 lift, so it should work out. Um, we're going to, de to degree the motor in, which I'll show you guys how to do that. We're actually going to degree it on top dead center and degree the camshaft in according to the cam card. You know, that will, I guarantee, will pick up a lot of horsepower just doing that. So I got a billet adjustable timing gear set. Um, let's see what else did I buy. I got... We're just going to slap a new set of head gaskets on. Obviously, these were in perfect condition. Yes, I don't run MLS gaskets. I use these. These are $25 head gaskets, and they work awesome for boost. They're also like a little fuse, 
if something goes wrong, you torch it. It's not going to torch a head, hopefully. It's going to just blow the gasket out. Okay, so cam. Oh, I bought a new set of lifters. Or not lifters, I'm sorry, uh, rocker arms. With the, I had a one set of 172s on here, which kind of cheated the lift on the F cam. It bumped it up a little bit. Um, so ultimately, it would have been a little bit higher than a 512 lift, but uh, I don't want to run these with the new Lunati cam because it'll bump it over 600 lift. So I'm going back. I bought a set of comp cams, chromoly, like lightweight, real small uh, rocker arms, 1.6 ratio. Uh, let's see, the other big thing on this combo. So that's pretty much it with the motor. Regasket it, reseal it, new camshaft, degree the motor, rocker arms. Intakes going back on is this turbo. The turbo is still for sale. I've got a couple guys interested in it. If anyone here is interested in it, uh, shoot me a message, leave a comment, PM me, whatever. This is a Forced Inductions S474. It's in really good shape. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this turbo, guys. On this combo, it just didn't seem to work on this combo. I know that this turbo has made a lot of horsepower on other guys stuff but for whatever reason this turbo just isn't right for this motor it just it just doesn't work so uh, Jake is I'm buying his old precision we're gonna put a one of those precision CEA wheel dual ball bearing uh, precision 88 84s t6 housing but like it's a 108 AR so it's a little bit tighter back half. Hopefully it'll help spool it in first gear with the power glide. Get the you know the car moving out good. And uh, being an 88 wheel, it should flow. That turbo is rated for 1496 horsepower, I think is what precision rates it to. So yeah, it'll be all the it should I hope fly on this motor. It should really wake it up. Um, I might have the heads milled down a little bit at a machine shop just to gain a little bit of compression. Um, that's still on the fence about that yet and then uh, the last thing I got ordered is a air to water intercooler again I'm gonna get rid of I'm gonna sell this once again if you're interested this is a Garrett real Garrett intercooler and I got a, a big air to water that's gonna go it's not gonna set up in the cow like the old one it's gonna actually be inside under the dash and I'll have actual firewall ports hook up to the turbo but uh, in the long run that saves me a lot of money than building a completely new combo I'll be able to reuse this hot side which was you know really nice and uh, yeah that's pretty much the plan for now guys I'll get some videos when uh, parts start coming in we start putting this thing back together uh, if we're lucky as you can tell it's already kind of got that fall weather setting in here so uh hopefully i know a couple of tracks up around here will run until basically halloween and uh depending on how fast i get shit and the money side of it i've got most everything ordered other than like you know i'm gonna need some new intercooler piping and weld that up but uh yeah it was everything should be on the way more or less and you know uh get it all slapped back together won't i can get it i can have this whole thing back together in one day so uh yeah well guys here is the new turbo uh, i just had it dropped off it is as you can tell a precision freaking pretty big unit here this this is the 8884 88 millimeter wheel um, it's ball bearing, uh, T5, which is the same bolt pattern as a T6. It's a little bit tighter, uh, AR. This is a 1.08. Uh, my old turbo is a 1.32 and it was a divided. This is open. So I'm hoping that this will spool, uh, in the first year, a little tighter, a little, you know, help it get up on power a little faster. And then the 88 billet wheel hot side, I mean, this thing should flow. They rate this turbo at 
uh, right at 1500 horsepower. So honestly, this would probably be the last turbo I almost ever buy. Um, it'll, it'll support all the needs. This is their what they call their LS series turbo. It's basically kind of like a mini pro mod. Uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. So uh, you're wondering what these little plugs are. They're for when I, there was a volute injection on it. I just got these nice little plugs. Uh, don't, it won't affect it at all or anything. So, yep, five inch downpipe on it. We'll get that mounted up on. It'll bolt right up to my existing hot side. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this works a quite a bit nicer than my old uh, Borg Warner. So stay tuned guys and uh, we'll continue on this little build.